testing. You ever seen this video? Can you hear that? I don't think you hear that. My mic is loud. Huh. Thousands of years ago, on this planet we call Earth, our planet was visited by various groups of extraterrestrial humanoid beings. These extraterrestrial humanoid beings had to leave their planet and seek refuge here on Earth because their home planet had been destroyed by evil. When these extraterrestrial humanoid beings arrived on Earth, they chose to take residence inside the center of the Earth because the surface of the Earth was inhabited by human beings. At this point in time in Earth's history, the human beings who lived on the surface of the Earth were all of one tribe, the Evanoid tribe. Since they live inside the Earth, the extraterrestrial beings have now become interterrestrial beings. So, I just want to try this video technique out. I don't know if you can hear the video, so I might have to go get some more speakers, or I don't like to plug them up into these big SKT speakers. Bumping. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, I might just go get some more little, uh, household speakers. So, you can see the premise of what I want to try to do here. But this is not to show me talking about someone else's video. But a way for me to critique one of my own videos. I did a video, you know, that never got put out. So I want to play that video. I have to transfer it from the computer that I'm actually filming on. And then I'll put it on the memory stick and stick it in here. Um, as you see on the screen, it says uh, it talks about the hollow earth theory on this uh, on this depiction right here. But um, let me play some more of this story. We will get the speaker and the memory stick. The inner earth has been called by a variety of names by cultures around the world, including Shambhala by Buddhists, Garza by Tibetans, Kamuchi by the ancient Mesopotamians, the Duat or Amintar by the ancient Egyptians, Hades or the underworld by Europeans, Shivalba by the Mayans. And in modern times, the concept of the inner earth has given rise to what is called the hollow earth theory. Unbeknownst to many human beings, the activities of these beings which reside inside the earth has affected the course of human history and human development. The first and most noble of the beings which resides inside the earth is called the Shiyuk. Compared to human beings, the Shiyuk would be considered geniuses with exceptional intelligence and telepathic and telekinetic abilities. The Shiyuk have a dark brown skin complexion, they are between 5 feet to 7 feet tall, and their head, brain, and cranial capacity is much wider and larger than the average human. The Shiyuk come to the Earth's surface occasionally to teach and to trade with certain tribes of human beings. The teachings of the Shiyuk are so profound that when they come to the Earth's surface to teach, they are often called deities, gods, priests, prophets, messengers, and seers, and because of this fact, the Shiyuk have strict laws which limit the interaction of Shiyuk tribal members' contact with the humans on the surface. The Shiyuk commonly interact and have mixed in with the surface world humans called the Dinsil or Dinopil, also known as the Afar people, in present-day Eritrea, Djibouti, Ethiopia, and Somalia. The chief of the Shiyuk is named King Kyokora, and his daughter is named Princess Radidia, and two of his brothers are named Amo and Mishok, who has always been jealous of his brother King Kyokora. King Kyokor's brother Amal had fallen in love with a surface-dwelling human female, and he would sneak to the surface world to visit her, and would also pass himself off to the surface-dwelling humans as a psychic and a magician, and for these acts, Amal was exiled to live on the surface, 20 miles outside of the present-day city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia. As long as the people in the inner earth spent most of their life in the inner earth, then they will not die, however, to be exiled to the surface world means a person from inner earth will eventually die like the mortals on the surface. In the caverns adjacent to the Shiyuk, resides another group of nobles called the Thini. The Thini are also highly intelligent, but also have a fighting spirit. The Thini are between 5 feet to 7 feet tall and have a variety of complexions from yellow to brown, and they are hairless and are most noted for their cone-shaped heads. The Thini commonly interact and have mixed with surface world humans including the ancient Egyptians, the Almecs in present-day Central America, the Manga 
Santos people in the African Congo, and the Parthas people in Peru. The chief of the scene is named King Montax, and his daughter is named Princess Lucina, and his son is named Prince Akif. One of the wretched group of beings which resides inside the earth is called the Sami. The Sami are grotesquely obese, pale, with long elephant-like noses, and are very negative and aggressive. The Sami were actually the manifested evil grafted out of the scene on their home world prior to these beings arriving on Earth. Since the Sami were grafted out of the scene, it is the responsibility of the scene to police and keep in check the evil activities of the Sami. It is said that an American named Richard Sharpshaver encountered the scene and called them the Turos, meaning interrogative robot, and he also encountered the Sami and called them Duros, meaning detrimental robot. One day, the wretched Sami raided and invaded the village of the Shiyuk stealing food and terrorizing the Shiyuk family. When King Kyokur found out about this invasion by the Sami, he sent a telepathic message to King Mansu stating that the Sini has neglected their responsibility to keep the Sami in check, because the Sami were currently raiding and invading the village of the Shiyuk. Upon receiving the telepathic message from King Kyokur, King Mansu went with his brethren to the caverns of the Shiyuk to stop the invasion by the Sami and to drive the Sami back to whence they came. After driving the Sami away from the land of the Shiyuk, King Mansa apologized to King Kyokur, the tension remained between oh, the Shiyuk wow. and the Sini for some time after the incident. In order to make peace between the Shiyuk and the Sini, King Mansa offered his daughter Princess Lucina to the wife of King Kyokur. King Kyokur accepted the peace offering from King Mansa, and in turn offered his daughter Princess Radiya to be the wife of King Mansa's son Prince Aki, as was the custom, and there was peace in the land for some time between the two tribes of the Shiyuk and the Sini. However, King Mansa's daughter Princess Lucina was angered and outraged because she did not want her father to give her away to be the wife of the Shiyuk King Kyokur. Princess Lucina felt like an outcast and out of place living amongst the Shiyuk people, and she did not like living by the strict laws of the Shiyuk people. Princess Lucina always wanted to marry a man from her own people the scene, and she did not want to be married to a Shiyuk man. One day Princess Lucina, now the unhappy wife of King Kyokur, met Mishak, the jealous brother of King Kyokur and they conspired together based on their hatred for King Kukur to have an illicit sexual affair together behind the back of That's King Kukur. Princess Lucina and Mishak would travel to the surface world to the home of Emma, the exiled brother of King Kukur and Mishak, and it is here where they would have their illicit affair. This affair between Princess Lucina and Mishak went on for months with them sneaking back and forth from the inner earth to the surface world, and eventually Princess Lucina became pregnant. In her pregnant state, Princess Lucina would not return to the... Okay, folks, here's where it might get crazy. Hope this is not our ooh. Full blast. Alright, turn the volume all the way down. Uh oh. The other computer over there is itching to get in on this, but uh sorry. I'm not happy. The Last High Priest Back in Inner Earth, Mishak and Princess Lucina had been missing for years Captain, and eventually Captain, they were found out by King Kukur about the affair between his wife Princess Lucina and his brother Mishak Captain, Captain. King Kukur ordered his soldiers to go to the home of his brother Amo and arrest Mishak for his crimes and according to the laws of the Shiyuk, Mishak was put to death Princess Lucina's life was spared because she now had a child to take care of but her punishment was to remain exiled to the surface world living in the home of Amo and to never return to inner earth depressed about her inability to return home overwhelmed by her new responsibility to raise a child okay, and saddened by the death of her lover Mishak Princess Lucina kills herself by committing suicide yeah, how do you use YouTube? Now, let me see I'm just gonna go to one of my old videos and see how I feel. I don't even know how to get to the old videos anymore. How do you even get to your old videos anymore? Remember how you used to have the button where you either get you go to your videos? Where, where is it? Where is it? Where, what happened to YouTube? Is it over here on this side? Did I click on my picture here? Then it says Creator Studio. Is that it? Is that where all my impertinence is? No. It says Account Settings. 
Now don't help me get to my video. I haven't really been on this thing in a long time. It changed the page so much. And all of a sudden the computer. Overview. My connected account. Look, is, is it my touch not touching? Is it not getting touchy? I got like the big pictures or something. I got to do the handicap like the you know, old people with the big glasses. Let me get the hell out of here. So this is what they recommend for me. I don't even like. I watch a couple videos because people tell me to, and they got all this other stuff up here they want me to watch, and you know, some of it is uh, not really happening. I did the Hulk Hogan thing for you guys last week so you could hear it. See, I adjusted the microphone from the last uh, time. So, let's see. This is what I don't like. Now, I go to my channel. Let me see what happens. stupid now I like to go to my videos where I can see them the way I do them and um, I can't like this so go to here videos you see I wish you guys could see the page where I tried to upload and it won't upload. Let me see. There's one that's locked. There's a video that's locked right there, folks. I don't think you've seen that one. Okay, since you haven't seen that video, then, uh, no, wait a minute, that's just, Now what is this? You see two minutes and sixteen seconds. May twelfth. Sound like some bad singing. Yeah. Very bad singing. No video. That's why I was just bullshit. Yeah. No singing. Now you see why the yeah, video was never really. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I've messed up. What is this? Hidden conspiracy. Black history. How is this? Until one day, this great white man named Abraham Lincoln came along and felt bad for the slaves and signed the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863, which freed the slaves. But there were still some bad whiteies in the southern states that passed Jim Crow laws for segregation. Afterwards, there came more whites that felt bad and then gave blacks civil rights in the 1960s. Then allowed a black man to have the presidential office named Barack Obama. Now blacks are finally equal to whites. We can all get along. The end. Now, moving right along to our English lecture for the day. Uh, I don't think so. Black history. What do you know about black history? Let me ask you a question. Prior to the transatlantic slave trade in the 1600s, what, what was your nationality? What did you call yourself? Some may say Africa. Well, Africa is a continent, and in that continent, there's over 47 different countries in there. Which one do you come from? 
What language did you speak prior to the 1600s? Was it English? There's over 1,500 dialects being spoken in the land of Africa. Pick one. What clothing did you wear? Was it high heels and stilettos? Skinny jeans and bands? What food did you eat? Hamburgers and hot dogs? French fries and SpaghettiOs? What religion did you partake in? Who was your God? Was it Christianity and Cesare Volger? Most of you have no idea about the answer to these questions. You have no recollection of any history prior to the transatlantic slave trade. Now, is that a coincidence or by random chance? I don't think so. Have you ever asked yourself, why is it that in the public school system that every time the subject of black history is taught, it always begins in the 1600s and with slavery. Why is that? Doesn't that raise some antennas and spark inquiry? Why is it that the public school system is so committed to revolving black history solely in the past 400 years? Why is that? Uh, is it because there's a deficiency in historical data? Or maybe it's because there's no history at all prior to the 1600s. Maybe black people just pooped out of thin air sporadically, landed on slave ships, and they said, hey, we got a new species here, and start importing and exporting them all over the world. Maybe that's what happened. The question arises, what is the drawback on this history? Why does it keep being withheld? What's the big idea about it? I'm going to answer him real quick. White people don't want to hear it. I'll watch that one later. Add to, see, I'm not trying to add it to the list. Okay, watch later. Okay, there you go. Watch that one later. Yeah. Interesting topic. Let me see what I can find with what. Once again, my channel. Come on, man. This darn thing is slow. How many people have slow ass computers like this? Now, okay. Huh. I tried to do a song last week. Boy, it was bad. <whistles> bad. Bad. Go to videos again, and I'm going to pick an old video, and then we're going to watch it together, and then I'm going to comment on it. I'll just flip, load more. I wonder how many videos I got. This one was banned, right here. It was banned. Hmm. That was a commercial I did for a company. Hmm. I don't even know what order these videos are in. Let me see. Some of my most controversial videos are not even on here no more. Let me see. At by most popular seven year old girl rape. Okay, hmm, they reduced me all the way down to these ones. What is the other one? Oh, wow, folks, they're taking some of your favorites off. Remember, I give them a face. Hmm. Yeah. 
Um, hmm. Hmm. Which one of these videos? Okay, I think I got a video I want to play for you. And that was just my opinion. And a lot of people tried to give me some flack over this shit. No, I'm not going to play that video, but remember the guy who was talking about, uh, you know, he climbed through my window and all that shit, and they had a song about that shit. The guy was upset because somebody tried to climb in the house and rape his sister and they made a comedy song out of it and then it's all cool you know that was pretty faulty why is why is this going out like that I ain't trying to go like that the video of fake ass white people popped up I ain't trying to do that not trying to do that so um I wish I had a copy of Give Him a Face. I don't even see it in here. That was one of my most controversial videos. Everyone liked that video. It was controversial. Let me see. Uh, I hate showing people when I... Black people don't act like that in real life. I'm gonna take this shit off the air. These motherfuckers don't think I'm some weirdo fucker trying to take over the fucking world or some of this shit. What is this one? Now I wanna go way back. Hello. I wanna go way back to the 10 minute video day. This. You always gotta start over at the damn beginning. that down to 20 okay I think this one is called tone death bring the volume up please
बात है ये and murdered in Yuba City, California. It didn't make the local news. I don't even think it made the national news. But if you go Google Willie Dean Roberts Jr., then you have the news. Uh, apparently two parolees decided to strap a black man to the front of a car, a truck, I believe, and drive around town so the space was burned off. So you can hear the tires squeal from the flesh being stuck underneath the fucking truck. So, these two people were treated fucked up. Well, uh, I really don't want to hear that part of the video. I forgot all about that part of the video. Um, yeah, my cousin was murdered. And, uh, it didn't get no news coverage. KCRA did something. Trap somebody to a truck and drive around and do that stuff. But uh, the point was, we were talking about a. Uh, I think there was a, a young white couple and they were kidnapped and they were both murdered by four young black people, or whatever. And it made no news coverage. If he would have been somebody else, and if they would have been some other people, they probably would have gotten more coverage. Just recently, there had been some weird home invasion, and a whole family was killed by a bunch of crazy-ass black teens. But there are stories still going on today about people being lynched. And it's not being on the news or being recognized as lynchings. People all of a sudden commit suicide. So, looking at the big picture, sometimes it's not always how something starts, but it's how it ends. You know, nobody be put down. Nobody should be murdered, killed. There's no excuse for that. I mean, war is not an excuse. What you're fighting for. See, 
problem with the world in general is boundaries. The people who seek to control the world and put up boundaries are like. And it's like, it's sad because boundaries confine people's minds. By boundary itself is a prison. You can't go beyond this point. You're not welcome. You're not equipped with enough knowledge to get to this point. Even though the knowledge is free, and I don't want to share it with you. So, how do we deal with certain things, I mean, certain issues? I can bring up a million different issues, a million different subjects, a whole bunch of different things happen to a whole bunch of different people for apparently no reason at all. Turn this move, this music off. I like this part though. I'm pretty upset from my video being pulled down the other day. It wasn't actually pulled down. I pulled the video. I erased it. I deleted the video. Now, this is a video reply to an advertisement. Homosexuality shouldn't be advertised over public airway. My video was pulled because of Greek news. A mistake. I could have been given a warning. I pulled the video. No longer there. The Showtime is allowed to show women kissing. They name it lesbian something. The L word. They're advertising homosexuality. I know there's homosexuals out there. That's your business. That's what you do. Maybe you do want to watch the L word on Showtime. I heard it's a good show. You shouldn't be advertising my daughter can see this. My daughter's a child. L word, that's love word. You might be looking up the word love. Who the L word? See a bunch of women kissing? That's not cool. I'm not gay bashing anybody. Let's not get that twisted in this at all. Let's remove my video, which didn't show anybody sucking on anybody's face. You should remove this video, put a disclaimer on or something, because it's indecent. Matter of fact, this video falls in a long line of videos. Hot lesbians kissing interracial lesbians kissing black girls kissing people kissing in general is sexuality that's just as bad as showing a little girl shaking her butt in the rump shaking videos that have been allowed to remain on youtube if you're gonna have fairness across the board showtime should have a little restraint in what they're showing that was some pretty hard shit. Last year, during the harvest time, I sat at this very same table. 15 hours a day. And I had Amazon Prime. There was nothing on to watch. So hell. I'll watch the L word. I watched every single episode of the L word. And my harsh criticism in this video was, was alright. Because 
me being a grown up sitting in my office watching it while I'm trimming is different than some little kid just sitting around and then it flashes on the TV. Even though the characters, well, some of them could be misconstrued as androgynous, it was not for a child to see that splash, two women kissing. Or even now, to just see that. They don't get to see men and women kissing anymore. I really tell you. Husband and wife ain't got no time for mashing. You see young people kiss. You know, but you don't see husband and wife kissing in public unless they're on vacation. They're not even in their own country. They might be in the motel room kissing. Real couples don't just mash out in public. They got other places to handle their business. Yeah, you know, my hold some hands and shit, a uh, couple kisses, but you ain't gonna sit there in the middle of public just bust slobbing. You know, it doesn't go down like that in the real world, bro. So for anybody to have to see a man kissing another man just out in the open, for what? Okay. And it's just overkill. And then, um, the only reason I set this up this way, because I told you at the beginning of the video, I couldn't find a memory stick to transfer it over. Today's drink is old fashioned lemonade. Dice, ice, dice, that view. Crushed ice. Crushed ice. You know what to drink have been sitting back there for the last uh, 35 minutes. So I appreciate the people that do watch my show. I really do. I love you all. And you know, uh, um, next week uh, I guess uh, I'll find that video for you. And then we'll review it like this. And then I'll give you my opinion. Um, I was a little hard on the L word, but you don't advertise any sexuality around a child. Now I heard they got the YouTube child. What's that gonna do? It's gonna be sex videos on that motherfucker already, just like you know, like on this one. So you know it's like it the internet should be looked at like alcohol. You can only drink it when you're twenty one. Now when you're five, six years old, you need a bumper lane like no other. You need straight buffer zone, you know. I mean, you know, they need to fix it so that a child, even the way a child types is not picked up. It's like, you know, a child hears the word ass and type ass in, you know, thinking he's going to get a picture of a donkey, and all of a sudden he sees some booty meat videos from, you know, 1998. I mean, um, 2008. And, you know, it's not going to be cool. You know, like I said, uh, you know, people, people's personal outward sexuality is their own personal business. I've also heard that they're taking the word boy and girl out of school. So when you send your daughter to school, she can't have a little girl because that would be her claiming her sexuality and it's not fair. So, um... A little boy can't say he's a boy either. I'm going to be a young man. I'm going to be a man. Like you can't say that anymore. So what are they doing to your child? They're going to have your child be an autonomous sex toy. A toy that they'll be able to use either way for, you know, either kind of satisfaction. And um, you sitting around letting it happen. So that's been 40 minutes of me trying out this shit not knowing what I'm going to talk about. So this is 40 minutes of what am I going to talk about? Ah, this is where you close enough.